there's a significant disaster in the world, especially if it's uh, on a populated area that is characterized by ungodliness like New Orleans, <laughs> it's easy for Christians to presume that God has authored that natural disaster as an act of judgment against those peoples. Now, I think there's some peril in that. Um, certainly, God has used judgment of that sort against peoples in the past, and we can see this in the Hebrew Scriptures. I just want you to notice, though, in virtually all of those cases, that judgment was uh, proclaimed before the event itself happened. Um, there may be some exceptions to this, but characteristically, um, there is a declaration of some sort that God is judging because of iniquity. Uh, even Sodom and Gomorrah, the angels themselves said to Lot, God has sent us to destroy this city because the outcry, their iniquity is so great. So we have a record of the rationale in those cases of why God destroyed those cities. Now, what about nowadays? Certainly God can do that, and he doesn't need to tell us. He's not obliged to, but the biblical record is such that he generally does so that people don't miss the point. And if a big disaster befalls some populated area that's particularly sinful, um, how are they going to know that this is an act of God against them um, unless God tells them? In the case of Katrina in New Orleans, I think it's kind of interesting that the most godless area of New, New Orleans, the French Quarter, being on high ground, escaped virtually all of the impact of that of that storm, which means the worst place escaped it and all the poor people ended up drowning. So it strikes me that that probably wasn't a, a judgment of God against that city. And unless we have really good, concrete, objective reasons for claiming that God did this thing in judgment against a city, it's probably not the best thing for us uh, to go out on a limb and make that claim. It ends up making us sound a little frivolous. If God wants to do that, he's, he can do that. If he wants to let us know the reason why, he can do that too, and then we can announce that to the world. But in the absence of that, I don't think we should make those conclusions, and we should rather weep with those who weep and help the downtrodden and those who are the victims of these kinds of disasters rather than pointing the finger at them as victims of the judgment of God.